Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be setting up a basic SD-WAN setup in VMware Workstation 16 Pro. So let me show you how we're going to be getting it all set up. So we have a few uh, requirements that we need for each device. Uh, so I'll take a quick screenshot of what we need because I had this set up previous. So I'm going to basically just rebuild it all. We have our objectives so you can look here and see everything we're going to be performing on this workstation. Now I will be showing you guys my text file that that's going to have most of my configs, but uh, steps one through seven is pretty much the system configs that we're going to be putting on each device. Next, I'm going to uh, show you uh, our topology. How I have this set up. So pretty much I have my physical workstation here. I have uh, VMware Workstation Pro 16 installed on my machine and pretty much we're going to be, be importing these images vSmart, vEdge, vBond, and vManage into VMware Workstation and we're going to edit and put all of our requirements per our objectives and then we're going to be able to log into these devices so let's jump right into the lab guys. Alright guys so the first thing we're going to do is import our images into uh, VMware Workstation so you want to go to file you go to open and I have it pointing to my images, so I'm gonna import the VEd first. Now you wanna name it and click import. And we're gonna pretty much do the same thing for the other devices as well. And the last one we're going to do is VBond. Now, uh, just so you know, VBond and VEdge actually use the same image, so I'm gonna just re import the VEdge image and I'm gonna just name it uh, VBond. The uh, vManage image is a little bit bigger, so this one is taking a little bit longer. Now we're going to import vBond. I'm going to go to vEdge again. And this time I name it vBond. All right, guys, so now we have all of our devices uh, imported. Next thing we're going to do is make sure we have the correct uh, requirements on each device. Now we're going to verify each device. So let's start with vEdge. So we're going to go to Edit, Virtual Machine Settings and let's just verify what we need. So over here, memory, we need four, four gigs. Uh, processors, we need four, so that's correct. And the hard drive is 10.5, so that's correct. But let's check the next one. VSmart is four gigs of memory, processors two. And most of these are gonna be set already. You can see how it was set already. So this one is good. Next one is VBond. VBond needs two gigs of memory, which is correct. Processors four and hard drive 10.5 gigs that's correct so vManage now on vManage you see right here it has 32 gigs of memory obviously i can't use that because that's all i have in my machine so let's edit that and let's put 12 in the processors we're going to put let's see four hard drive being 21 that's fine but what we need to actually add an additional hard drive for vManage for storage so we're going to select hard drive and click next leave all default settings create a new virtual disk and here's where we're going to put 100 gigs click finish all right click ok and let's just verify 100 gig for the second hard drive 21 for the first hard drive, which it could be 20 or 30. It, it just selected 21 on its own, so I just left it there. So that's it for verifying our hardware requirements. All right, guys, now I have powered on all of these devices, so we're going to start off with vManage. Let's get started. So we're going to log in. The default password is going to be admin admin. So let's log in. Well, we actually have to wait a little bit longer. I think it's going to tell us when it's ready. All right, now it's telling us we have to reset the password, which I'm gonna reset it back to the same thing. Admin. All right, so right here it's saying select the storage device you want to use. So you can see that we have that 100 gigs, which is what we had to actually add, add on. So we're gonna select one, hit enter. Would you like to format it? You wanna click yes. Now it's gonna do its thing. All right, now we should be able to log into the, to the device again. It just reloaded. It had to do a reload. Let's see if we can log in. All right, so we're logged in. So the only thing I'm gonna do from this uh, interface is configure the VPN 512. So let's just configure VPN 512. So we're gonna do config T. We're gonna go to VPN. Actually, you know what? Let's do a show run first. So, so let's configure VPN 512 now.
All right, so we get in this message because VPN zero has ethernet zero. So let's go to VPN zero and remove it. I'm gonna do no interface eth zero, commit. So now our changes should be, let's just verify to see if VPN 512 is configured with that IP address now. Let's see, show run. Yes, so VPN 512 is configured. So let's see if we can actually ping that uh, IP address. I just have this on my normal network. Okay, we can, that's good. So that tells me it's online. So next we're going to do vSmart. All right, now we're going to do uh, vSmart. So we're gonna log in, admin, admin. I'm gonna set the password back to the same thing. And we're going to continue with VPN 512 as well. VPN 512 is actually the management interface, so. All right, so same problem, which I should have did this in the first place. see if we can ping okay we can and I'm gonna repeat this for the next two devices as well but I'm not gonna record Alright, guys now I have SSH into vManage and I'm going to put my uh, IP connectivity configs in there let me show you what I have here so be the system config so from here so we're gonna have the host name be managed system IP which is like a router ID site ID is pretty like what site it's in so if it's in a different location you will put a different site ID you will put your organization name and your SP organization name they have to match you also have to make sure that this is actually tied with your Cisco account and I already have that done on the back end uh, you're gonna put your VBind IP address and then we're gonna jump into VPN 0 and put an IP address put it as a tunnel interface you no shut and in VPN in zero we're gonna have the DNS primary which is my firewall default gateway and the secondary is gonna be Google then we have an IP route which points back to my firewall then we're going to commit our changes I'm gonna grab this and dump it into the device okay commit is complete let's do in show run okay so we can see up here we have our uh, SP organization name our org name vbond and vpn0 we have dns and have an ip address let me see if i can ping that ip address let's do this for every other device as well and then we're going to log into vmanage so stay tuned right, guys now i'm going to, to configure uh vbond now just remember that v edge and vbond have the same image so that's why the name is v edge so let's put our configs in and one thing to remember on vbind only you have to actually put local it tells this device that it's the local vbind so let's commit our changes all right so now you can see that the name has changed to vbind so let's do a show run so you can see all configs are in here uh if we scroll up we can see our org name vbind is local and now let's do vsmart okay, guys now i'm going to configure vsmart all right now we're going to do a show run verify our configs and we can see our configs have taken deep right here you can also see vpn zero as well let's see if we can ping that ip address Okay, and we can. Now, that's gonna be it for forest configuration right now. I'm not going to configure the VEd. It's not going to be able to come onto the fabric until I install all the certificates on vManage, vBond, and vSmart. Stay tuned. All right, guys, now we have all of the device configured with basic IP connectivity. So let's just verify from vManage that we can actually ping uh, vBond and vSmart. So I'm gonna ping vBond first. Bond is going to be 101 so I can ping 101 and that's on VPN 0 and the next one for uh, vSmart is going to be 102 okay and I can ping vSmart as well so now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to log in to the GUI on uh, vManage 
and we're going to actually add these devices into uh, v manage v bond and v smart you will get this certificate error because we don't have certificates installed so and the default username we set is admin and the password is admin as well so let's log in all right so from here we can see that we have v manage up but we don't have v bond we don't have WAN address and we don't have uh, vSmart. So the first thing we want to do is go and add those devices in. That way our controls can be up. You're going to go to device. You're going to go to the little cog wheel, go to devices, then controllers. And then we're going to add a control. We're going to say vSmart. We're going to put the IP address 10.0.0.102. And username is admin. Password is admin. And we're going to add it. Okay, let's try the management IP 82 okay so that works so now let's add Fibon. you know what it actually said add management IP and I totally put VPN 0 so that was my bad and Vbond management IP is .81 admin admin click add okay so now we have all of our devices added as far as controller goes. The next thing I want to go do is go and actually configure my ARC name in VBON inside of my admin settings here. So you want to go to this little section here, go to settings and do our ARC name. We're going to do edit. ARC name is going to be codes tech. I'm going to save that. And VBON, we're going to edit that as well. 10. 0.0.101 let me just verify that is correct we're going to save it and uh i think that's it for uh this video in the next video we're going to be uh add certificates to each device and we're going to be actually using vmanage as in uh, a root ca so that's it for now uh see you guys in the next one thanks for watching